<laughs> hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here so for today's video i am so excited because we have another day another color pop and this is their spooky secret mystery box ah! I absolutely love ColourPop mystery boxes. They're so damn good. I've been unboxing them now for a while on my channel, but the last two months have been fire. If you guys don't know what's inside this box, what well, my thoughts are, and was it worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. All right, guys, so I'm sure you guys are gonna ask me what I'm wearing on my face today. I'll make sure I link everything down below, but for the eyes, I will at least say that I am wearing the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. You guys can use code Allie to save you guys 10% off your purchase. And I am so excited because I'm wearing the new Ofer Cosmetics Think Pink set right here. This is actually the second collaboration that Ofer Cosmetics did with the National Breast Cancer Foundation to help spread awareness of screening and how vital it is for, detect for early detection. And they just launched this brand new kit right here it does retail for $29 it's gonna be like a blush lighter with like a beautiful coral pinky lip I'm obsessed with it and you guys can use code Allie which will save you guys 20% off your purchase but I'll go in more in depth later with you guys like in another video but I wanted to go ahead and point that out because I am wearing that on my face today but I'll make sure I link everything I'm wearing on my face down below for you guys but with that said guys welcome back to another day of vlog -oween. if you guys are new here you guys don't know what that means it is me posting every single day in the month of October in honor of Halloween. So to kick today's video off, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on into the ColourPop Spooky Secret box. Now this did retail for $49. There's going to be 13 full size items in here. It's supposed to be like a Halloween theme mystery box. And for the last two months, they've actually been launching a mystery box every single month. And if you guys don't know, I love ColourPop. I have like 90 something palettes from them at this point. And surprisingly enough, I haven't gotten any duplicates in my boxes. I think like one or two items, if that. But my last two mystery boxes have been freaking a fire because I have not gotten any repeat items, which is just truly like, what? That's insane that I haven't. So hopefully this is third time's the charm. Oh, this would be a freaking kick-ass box. But we're gonna get items in here that I don't have in my collection. It's supposed to be Halloween themed. And they definitely did lower the quantity for like the last, in August, it was like 15 full-size products. September is 14 full-size products and October is 13 full-size products, but it's supposed to have like a retail value of like, I think like 150. I looked on the website. I don't see it available. If it is, I'll make sure I link it down below, but I tried looking it up. I couldn't find it, but it could still very well be there, but I'm so excited because I really do love ColourPop mystery boxes. They do such a good job with these and they're always so much fun. And of course, if I get any duplicates, you guys already know it's going right back to you guys. So Let's go ahead and open this up. This is supposed to be their Halloween theme box. And so far, oh no, no, I don't know this is gonna be a Halloween theme. Just like from the quick glance, oh no. Okay, so let's start it out. So the first item we have is the bubbles. These are the two hair clips right here. And I have these. I got them when I bought the entire ColourPop PR box, so I definitely won't get a use out of these. I really hope they don't count this as a full-size item because if they do, that's gonna be so sad because I definitely would not consider this full-size items. I'd hope you makeup. I'm just gonna read what it quickly says on their Instagram. It says, it's Halloween makeup mystery. Solve the mystery and discover new faves with our limited edition mystery box featuring 13 full-size secret products to uncover. Okay, well, it necessarily doesn't say that it's Halloween, but that's how I interpret it. It says Halloween makeup mystery. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, so next we have these falsies. These are gonna be in the shade Queenie. And you know, honestly, I haven't really played around with ColourPop false lashes much. Um, I tend to use a lot of Ardell or Kiss lashes. I don't really use a lot of ColourPop lashes, but these are really beautiful. Definitely my style. So at some point, I definitely want to try these because they look really nice. Next, we have something from the Bambi collection. Now, I actually already own this because I did buy the entire Bambi PR box. I think I spoke too soon, guys. I think I, I spoke too soon. 
<laughs> I think we might have gotten a lot of duplicates in here. But this is their Luxe Gloss Trio from the Bambi set. And I actually already currently own this. But I'm not going to lie. I'm actually not the biggest fan of ColourPop Luxe Glosses. I just find that they're rather sticky. And they don't have a lot of longevity to them. And I don't know. I've never been a big fan of their glosses. But definitely really pretty colors. I should still have these. If I don't, I might have decluttered them. But hey. Okay, next we have something from the uh, Jamie line. Um, I think this is the girl that dresses like Marilyn Monroe. I don't remember what her name is. Honestly, I don't follow her. But this is the Old Flame Sex Appeal. This is a cream luxe lipstick. I like that it is like in classic like old Hollywood packaging. So this actually comes ooh, with a lip liner and an actual lipstick. So let's go and swatch this because this is pretty. So here's the lip liner. <gasps> Holy crap, that is stunning. That is stunning. Okay, let's see how the lipstick looks. I hope it's red, because if it's red, I'm gonna be so excited. <laughs> yes. yes, I love a good red lipstick. Not necessarily this particular lipstick, but the lip liner is something I can definitely work with. I love a pure, pure, perfect red. My perfect red is a red that actually has a blue purple undertone. That's like my true red for me. But not a lot of people out there do like it when they kind of have like an orangey red undertone. It's just your personal preference. That's just my personal preference like the, with the blue purple undertone. So the light, the liner right here seems like it has it but the lipstick itself seems like it might not. But I'm definitely gonna have to give that a try because it's still really beautiful nonetheless. And I don't really have that many true red lip liners. So that is really exciting. Okay next we have the feather brow pen. This is going to be in the shade light brown i actually don't have this product i do have their little like styling wax but i don't actually have the feather brow pen this would be really exciting to try and it's going to be in light brown wow that is so tiny Ooh, that's gonna be really really fun to play with i'm not entirely sure that's gonna be the perfect match for me but i really do like how this feels and i kind of want to try this out if it's not the perfect match then I at least know to go online and get my perfect match i just want to try the formula and like the styling of it so that's exciting because i don't have this one okay color pop we're, we're changing we're changing it a bit around okay next we have the fresh kiss this is cr um, lip cream this would be in the shade freshest I don't think I have this. Ooh, yeah, I absolutely do not have this right here. That is really pretty. What's like a lip cream? Is it like a lip product? I can't tell what a lip cream would be. It's like a moussey lip cream. And I'm not gonna lie, this actually kind of looks like it's gonna be complimentary to like my sweater that I'm wearing right now, which by the way, I got my clothes from Target. But um, yeah, that's actually really pretty. I don't think I've ever played with this formula from ColourPop, so it's something I'm definitely going to want to try because that looks really pretty. All right, next we got something from Color <laughs> Okay, so next we got something from Lizzie McGuire. This is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I actually did own this, I did but then I ended up passing it along. Oh no, I think I decluttered it just because um, I, I don't use these. Generally, I don't use these. I bought this for the review and then I ended up just going to declutter it because I just know I generally wouldn't get a use out of this. This is, this is something I definitely will put aside for you guys. Not a bad formula, just definitely not my favorite. It just was really reminiscent of the 90s for me growing up watching Lizzie McGuire. Oh, I always wanted to be her. And um, yeah, I think it's a cool component, but yeah, I already own this one. All right, up next, we do have another, we have a ColourPop liquid liner. This will be in the shade The Hills. That's a really pretty color. So this is how the shade looks. I'm not gonna swatch it because I actually don't use liners like this. I love, I mean, I absolutely do love the ColourPop Creme de la Gel liners. They're my personal favorite. I'm actually wearing the white one right here. I have four of them because I'm truly obsessed with their, with their eyeliners. I just can't really can't get into liquid liners just because I'm just not the biggest fan of them. But I will say that's a really pretty color. Definitely on the more unique side, I think this is a color that you can really use for like Halloween, but that is really pretty. And I don't have that one. All right, next wow this is a throwback oh my god this is a throwback like this was me reviewing this like three years ago this is the waterfall this is the frozen 2 glitterly obsessed glitter gel this is the honor version of this i do have this because i did buy the entire pr set <laughs> Clearly, I have an obsession, but this is how this looks right here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the ColourPop's 
the glitterly obsessed. I used to be, but I'm just kind of over that phase of loving glitter just because it just kind of gets everywhere. It's a pain to put on, it's a pain to take off. And especially with these particular styles right here, they have pretty big chunks of glitter. And if it gets into your eye, it's actually kind of painful. So as pretty as this color is, I definitely do not get a use out of mine that's sitting in the drawer behind me. So I'm gonna pass this along, but I do think it's a little weird that it's in here because I thought this collection was like a one and done thing. Guess it's not, but hey. All right, up next we have a sponge. I did not know that ColourPop makes sponges. I shouldn't be surprised. Like ColourPop makes everything. I shouldn't be surprised, but uh, yeah, they have a sponge right here. I definitely am going to use this because my sponges are dirty and I'm too lazy to clean them half the time. So I just open a new one and throw the old ones away. And I'm really excited to give this one a go. That's gonna be fun. All right, up next we do have the pressed powder palette. This is in Circus, the Circus, Circus Frizz, I think I have this. I can't tell if I have this. I don't know. I don't know if I have this. Let me check. Alrighty, so I just looked at my collection. We do not have this one, so that's exciting. I love adding to my ColourPop palette collection. And this is a very, very, very beautiful color. This is like a very neutral color. I'm definitely going to swatch these for you guys because this is so pretty. Oh my God, yes, this is pretty. So here's a swatch right here. Definitely not the best swatch because I have like left, I have like lipstick on there, but this is a really beautiful neutral palette. This would be kind of one that I would take with me on the go. Like if I was traveling, I didn't want to bring a full size palette. I would literally just bring this because it's kind of like what I'm wearing my eyes right now. It's Lunar Beauty, but like it's something that's so easy. This took me like two seconds to do. And I would do the same thing with this. Like this is freaking beautiful. I love this one and it's Circus Frizz and I don't have this and they're just, they're adding to my collection. That gets me so excited. Okay, so up next, we have our first Halloween theme palette, but we have the Hocus Pocus Witching Hour palette. Now this actually was their second collaboration with Hocus Pocus. This came out last year. I actually own this palette and I actually did a ranking of my top 10 favorite Halloween palettes. I showed 25 palettes in total, but I ranked my top 10. This did not make it to the top 10, but it was close to it. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what it looks like. I am gonna go ahead and pass this along to you guys because I already own this palette, so I don't need to have another one. But this is how this palette looks. I do think it's kind of cool they threw this in there because I know that the Hocus Pocus collections were selling out like crazy. So it's cool to see this in here. That way in case somebody missed out on it, they have a chance to now get it in the mystery box. Like I said, I already own this, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to you guys. That's exciting though, because like I said, if you didn't get this, you now have a chance to get it. So that's cool. Alrighty, last but not least. Ah, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so last but not least, we have the ColourPop in the Springs. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. I did not get this palette. I wanted to get it so bad, but I ended up not getting it. And it's here. Oh, that makes me so excited. So this is the In The Springs palette. This came out a couple months ago. I wanna see maybe like in June or July, honestly. And it was so pretty. I talked about it in like a new makeup release video and I said how badly I wanted to get this collection. But at the time I wasn't able to get it. I don't remember why. I don't know if I could afford it as I was going on. I think my trip to like Texas and I had my launch in Miami. I just did not have time to buy this. I didn't have the funds to buy this at the time. And it's here. It's here, it's in the palette and it's still so pretty. Granted, it's now October. We're well past the spring season. We're well past the summer season, but it's still really beautiful. And I could still utilize some shades in here. Like they have the oranges I can use in here to still create like Halloween or like fall style looks. This is so pretty. I am so excited because I did not add this palette. And this just like literally, this just made the box for me. This just made the box for me. All right guys, so I just counted all the items in the box. We did get 13 full size items. I counted up all the items that I don't have. So there are eight, oop, there are eight products in here that I did not have. I did not have the lashes, the lipstick set, the liner set, the brow set, the lip set, the eyeshadow palette, and the eyeshadow palettes, and the beauty blender right here. Eight products that I did not have. And then we did get some duplicates. I had the Lizzie McGuire. I had the Frozen 2. I had the Bambi had the butters clip and I obviously had the Hocus Pocus set right here. So I spent $49 on this box. Was it worth it? 
<laughs> yeah, I absolutely think this box is worth it. Even though I got five products that I already own, I still got eight products that I do not have in my collection. So that is still super exciting for me. I got a palette that I always wanted to get. I got a brand new palette that I didn't have. I get to try this beautiful red lipstick set. I'm gonna try the brow products. I'm gonna try the false lashes. And then I also got products that I get to pass along to you guys that I already own. So I still think it's super exciting. Granted, some of the products I'm kind of like, wait, this came out years ago. Why is it in here? You know, I'm not gonna question it. I do know that ColourPop makes everything in house. So I like to think that it's still good, but I don't know. <laughs> Just cause I got it years ago, but it's still unopened. So, I mean, that's good right? <laughs> but yeah, I spent $49 on this box. I got 13 full size items and I still think it's worth it. I still love this box. I thought it was great. I'm excited for these products. I'm excited to pass these pal I'm excited to pass these products along to you guys. And I just think that these videos are so fun. I love doing a ColourPop mystery box just cause you never know what you're going to get. Like truly you never know what you're going to get. I've done multiple ColourPop's unboxings on my channel at this point, And they're always so fun. Like I always have so much fun with them cause they're fun. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys, that is my video for today. If you guys bought this box, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys got anything different. If you're excited, if you're disappointed, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every single day in the month of vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys very next video. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> no. Hey guys. <laughs> no. Do you guys want to know what's inside this box? What my thought down below. If you guys didn't like a Halloween theme mystery box, kiss the fresh kitsch. Next we have a. And this is in this shade. And this is in this. And this is eight products that I didn't. Even though I got eight, tried the I the. I'm gonna try the.